Hello, Raj from Refined here, and in this video, I'll give you a quick overview of Refine for Confluence Cloud and how to get started with this app. So on your Confluence Cloud instance, you can find the app under the Apps section and Find New Apps, and then you search for Refine for Confluence Cloud. I already have it uh, installed here, so I click on Refined. And then I come into the Configuration area, and I click on Go to Refine Configuration which takes me into the Refined Admin Console. So how Refined on Cloud works is that we provide a parallel cloud service to the default Atlassian Cloud. And on our cloud, you can then create multiple separate sites. And you can use these for different purposes. So you could have a documentation site, an intranet site, and so on. And on each site, you can then include spaces from your Confluence Cloud. And you can then expose the content from these spaces on a branded Refined site. Bear in mind that the permission set on Confluence spaces in default Confluence is always respected in Refined. So a user will only see a space and the content under the space that they have permission to see on the default Confluence as well. So I'll go ahead and add a site here. And let's call this Decibel Demo and create that. And the site is now ready. So if I click on that, I land in the configuration area. And here, of course, I can add a custom domain if I wish to, to that site. And you can do this for every site that you add. I can add a logo. I can customize what I want the navigation menu to look like. I'll leave it on content for this. And then I have different settings that I can add there as well. But I'll jump straight into the site builder. And the site builder basically is where you create the structure and the content of your site. So I add different, uh, this is where I add the different confluence spaces that I want in the site. And I can also add what we call refined pages. And basically refined pages, they function both as landing pages and as ways to group content under it. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll go ahead and add a page and let's call this Teams. and save that. Then I've got that added in and I'll go ahead and add, uh, let's add some spaces. So I add in the design space and I can add in marketing as well. And then to create the hierarchy or the structure of my site, I simply need to drag and drop stuff under the refined page like so. And when it comes to the theming of the site, by default, you get the default theme uh, added. But if you click here, then you can change the theme to something else. So I'll go to Radiant. Uh, and if you want to create or edit an existing theme, then it's as simple as going to the theme section. And then you can either edit an existing theme to change that up and add your colors and branding, for example. Or you can create a new theme from scratch which is also pretty easy to do and uh, it's quite quick. So I go back to the sites. And as you can see, I've added some content in here. I actually prepared a site before recording this video with a more complex site structure added in already. So I've added in some refined pages, some spaces, a sub page under the main page, and then I've got other pages with other elements under them. And I'll go ahead and jump straight to the site itself. So the first thing we notice here is that the navigation menu items, these reflect exactly what's been set up here. So the Teams item with different spaces under it, that's exactly what I get here if I click on the drop down. The different spaces, the sub page, and the elements under the sub page. So this is how you create that navigation in Refined. On each element that you add into the Refined Site Builder, so the site home, the pages, and the spaces, we give you a layout that's customizable with different modules. So click on the three dot button if you're in here as an admin and edit the page. And then you get the layout editor. And within this, you can add multiple sections and different columns and then add modules in them for different content. So navigation content that allows you to add images and text and links. 
Uh, you can add a search in there. And then we have different Confluence modules. So you can add in, for example, a news feed that shows blog posts. You can add in an activity stream that shows the most recently updated uh, Confluence pages and spaces and so on. Go ahead and close that. Now I'll go straight to a space. So like I mentioned, you get the layout for this as well. And actually I'll go ahead and edit this one. And I can, I'll can i take away the page tree and I'll add in a news module to show you what that looks like. I'll filter it on this space. You also have the option to filter on labels or on authors. You can also use advanced CQL to add a more complex query in here. But I'll go for a simple space query and save that and then publish the page. And that's what that looks like. So now I have this nice list of, uh, of blog posts that are from this space. And if I click on that, that's what the blog post looks like. Uh, I'll show you what a Confluence page looks like as well. So if I open this up, that's what the page renders as. And the page tree, of course, is a di direct reflection of what's been set up on that space in default Confluence. And for me, who's logged in as admin here, I see the three dot menu. And if I click on that, I can either edit or view the page in Confluence. So I'll go ahead and view this. And then here in default Confluence, let's say I want to add an extra page. So under marketing strategy, for example, and current roadmap, I create a child page. Uh, let's go for a blank page. And I call this Q1 roadmap. And publish that. So if I use the refined logo at the top and click on that, I can see what sites this page has been included on. And I can click on Decibel Intranet, for example, and then I come in to the same space and I can view the, the page in this context. So that's a quick overview of Refined for Confluence Cloud. If you're also using Refined for Jira Cloud, then you have the option to include Jira Service Desk projects on the same Refined site as well. And you can also add Jira issues or Jira projects rather. To read up more on uh, Refine for Cloud, you're welcome to visit our documentation site, docs.refine.com. And if you run into any questions, you're always welcome to reach out to us via our support help center, support.refined.com. Thanks for watching.